Hi, and today we're looking at understanding number families, understanding number families and what they are and what, how we can use them to learn. OK, so what we know is if a number sentence is correct, so this number sentence here, if these numbers are, if it, this is correct, then all of these numbers go into a number family go into a number family because they all connect to each other in a different way so like your brothers and sisters connect and you're, you're because they're connected all together aren't they okay so we can show this by putting them in a triangle like this with 10 being the biggest number at the top because it's the greatest it has the greatest value this number 10 has the greatest value it's the biggest number and then the 8 and 2 slightly lower because they go together to make that bigger number. Yeah. So hopefully you understand so far. So this number 10 is the biggest number that goes at the top because we know 8 and 2 is the same as 10. 8 and 2 is the same as 10. And we know that. And then the 10 goes here. Yeah. So. What we also know, when it's a number family, and we use that to show something else. Because if we know, if we cover up that 10, because that's the answer we want to get, or well, that's the answer, then we can say 8 and 2 is 10. Is there any other way that we could write that number sentence? Is there any other way that we could write that number sentence? 8 and 2 is 10. Or we could say... 2 and 8 is 10. So we could swap those numbers because it's an addition. We can swap those numbers because we know that they're in the number family. So we say 8 and 2 is 10. But also we can say 2 and 8 is 10. Okay. Is there any other number sentence that we could write using those numbers? Any other number sentence that we could write using those numbers? Maybe we want to make a takeaway number sentence, a takeaway or a subtract number sentence. So what we could do there is we can start by covering up that 10. Well, 10 is the biggest number, so we need to start with 10 and we need to take away one of those numbers. So if we start with 10 and we take away 8, the number that we're not using is the number that the answer will be. Okay, so 10 take away 8 equals 2 because that's where the 2 was. Okay, so you can cover that up with your hand and then that's how we find the answer. 10 take away 8 equals 2. And then we can also do 10 take away 2 because they're the numbers that we've used. 10 take away 2 is 8. And it's important that the 10, because it's the largest number in the takeaways the biggest number in the takeaway goes first because we take away from that biggest number okay so we do 10 take away 2 or 10 take away 8 and then those numbers swap around so these numbers you can always keep in the takeaway the biggest number always goes first and in the add the biggest number always goes last so you can also show this in a different way if you're not quite sure what I'm saying. If you're a little bit confused, you can also show this in the tens frame that we've looked at before. With So we've got 8 and 2 equals 10. So you can always cover those up or maybe use those. So our total is 10, you see, with the tens frame being red. That makes matches the red here. And then the 8 is blue. So then we've got 10. And we could take away the green ones. And we're left with the blue ones, which is what this bottom number sentence shows. OK, a little bit tricky to show without being able to cover it up with my hands just on the slide. But let's try. So if we cover up that 8, we know that if we don't see these blue ones, 10 take away 2 is 8. Yep. So that's just a different way to show it. And then we cover up those 2 and then we're left with 8. A bit tricky without being able to show you with my actual hands, but hopefully you understand. So this one, maybe you need to pause the video now and have a go, 
pause the video now and have a go at this one is 10 7 and 3 use your number bonds as well to help you so there's seven blue ones one two three four five six seven and three green ones so we could say something and something if you're not sure use these colors to help you and see if you can work it out okay so you can pause now or unpause or whatever okay hopefully you've done it okay so that would be or let's talk it through so we've got a seven add three is ten and three add seven is ten so let me write those in let me choose a color so we've got a seven add three equals ten three add seven equals ten ten take away seven what would that be equal to if we've got 10 and we take away the 7 we are left with a and we've already used the 10 10 take away 7 equals yeah well done the number that's left is the 3 sorry about my handwriting there and then 10 take away 3 so this time we'll take it we'll use the red color so we used up the 10, we used up the 3, so the number that we have left is the, sorry it's a bit, is the 7. So that would be that number that's left. Okay, hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Not sure, we can always go over it again, if I can find the rubber, or maybe hopefully that will make sense. So what I want you to do today is... Try and use this method of finding the number families to find all the number family bonds to 10. Okay, so see if you can write them down. So maybe if you coloured in, oops, let me find my pen again. Maybe there would be yellow and there would be this many yellow ones. And then, then there'd be some white ones left. So how many would there be then? How many would there be? Because it would be something and something is equal to 10. So if it's too easy, try to do it with your number bonds to 20. And if it's too hard, just try using objects to find your number bonds to, to 10. You could use pens maybe, or whatever you have lying around, or toys, just to find your number bonds to 10. And then just write those down rather than trying to find all the different ways to show it. But what I really want you to show me is the five number bond families to 10. But just get as far as you can. If it's a bit tricky, just do some of the ones. We've done one together, so you can always rewind the video um, and that will show you. Okay, so uh, there's also this challenge if you find it a bit too easy. So I made myself a bit too big there. Um, it says, what number family is shown in this picture? How many number sentences can you write to show this? So there's some sheep inside the barn. There's some sheep outside the barn. I want you to see if you can write that down in different ways. Okay, good luck and I'll speak to you again soon.